Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another edition of Trapper Talk with me, RJ. Uh, today we're looking at a knife. I found this in an antique store and the covers really caught my eye, as you can tell. I mean, these are just absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, man, I have got to get this one. Now, I didn't know uh, about this uh, kind of a special edition. As you can tell, it's got some scratches and stuff like that, but you know, those things are gonna happen with an older knife. But this is the Case Man in Black Corlon Trapper. At least I think you pronounce it Corlon. It's still got some gunk on it from the uh, the antique store. I need to I need to clean that off. I didn't notice that before I started the video. Oh well, we'll get to it. Not to not to worry. Anyways, uh, this is really an interesting cover material. As you can see, you can't really see any uh, pins. It does have the uh, shield, and this uh, material Corlon is actually a trademark from Frost Cutlery. So. This is a collaboration with uh, Frost and Case, where Case makes the knives and Frost installs the covers. So it's really a very beautiful uh, cover material. Uh, here you go, looking at it from the, uh, the underneath side. And you can see your fit and finish is excellent on this. Uh, this side has more of a wavy curl with the black, and this has more of the uh, white uh, swirls in it, but really an interesting thing. Now they called this the man in black, uh, trapper. It doesn't say Johnny cash anywhere. Uh, I'm guessing probably because that way they wouldn't have to pay the estate, but, uh, it does have this etch of, uh, man in black Corlon premier edition, one of 500. Now I was looking for these for any kind of, uh, information on them. I couldn't really find anything. Uh, I did see another Man in Black edition. I guess it's not the premier edition, but it says one of 2,500. And of course on this knife, there's nowhere that it has a number on it. So it's almost like the uh, one of 500 uh, sunfish knives that were uh, popular, you know, about 10 years back or so that, you know, I don't know how many they made of it, but it was one of 500. <laughs> So it's kind of kind of interesting. So this is the uh, was made in 2006, and uh, it has stainless steel, but the model number on it is 9254, which uh, Corlon is not mentioned in any of the uh, you know type uh, books or something. I think a, a nine they use for abalone and a couple other ones. I should have made a, a more clear note of that, but you know how it is. I didn't. We'll clear it up on a future video, but uh, you can look it up in a nine does not say Corlon. So I don't know what the difference is on that. Here you go. Here's your spade blade. No markings except for the uh, USA, the model number and the uh, stainless steel. So this is a standard size trapper. So it's four and an eighth closed, three and a quarter inch blades on the clip and the spay coming in at 3.7 ounces. Really a... Uh, uh, very striking knife, very, uh, very artistic. And I really, uh, I really kind of dig it. Uh, like I said, it says man in black, doesn't say Johnny Cash on there, but Johnny Cash is the only man in black that, uh, that I know of, but definitely, definitely a very cool knife. All right. Well, that's all I have on this one. I didn't know if you guys have seen Corlon knives or if you have experience with Corlon knives, let me know in the comments. Just a really uh, beautiful trapper and one that I felt uh, deserved being shown on uh, Trapper Talk. All right, guys, you guys stay safe out there and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.